Hello there. Today's video is on a program introduced with Windows 7. It's called Windows Disk Image Burner. Let me open up my computer. What it's used for is to convert ISO files into CDs or DVDs. Uh, I have a DVD burner, so let me uh, eject it so I can open it up. Pop in my CDR, my blank CDR that I'm going to use to convert um, an ISO file into my blank CDR. And let me go to my downloads. It should pop up in a second, recognizing that I just put in a blank CDR. Ah, there it is, the autoplay option. I'm just going to cancel out of this by closing the window. Okay, so here's my ISO file right here. It's Ultimate Boot CD. I want to right-click, and I want to burn this disk image. Now, if this is not an option in the menu, because I know sometimes 7-zip, when I use a lot, uh, tends to associate itself with .iso files. So you may actually have to go to Open With, which is right here in the menu, Open With, and uh, choose the program out of the list. It should be listed Windows Disk Image Burner. Or it may be down here with other programs. So uh, it, if you're having an association problem, it's probably down here with the other programs as well. Uh, so you can click the plus sign next to other programs and find it in the list. Um, so I'm going to go click OK, at which point the Windows Disk Image Burner window will pop up. Minimize that. There we go. The Windows Disk Image Burner will pop up, at which point I can choose a drive. If I had multiple optical drives uh, that could burn, I only have the one. And then uh, click Burn. You can verify the disk after burning, but usually I don't do that. Mine usually comes out OK. All right, so while that's burning, let me... Uh, show you what an ISO file is for those of you that don't know. You can go to Tools, Folder Options. I pulled up this menu by pressing the Alt key on my keyboard. Tools, Folder Options, View, uh, and then uncheck the box that says Hide Extensions. This one extends, shows a .iso on the end of it. Sometimes when you download a file from Microsoft, it comes as a .img. The trick to that is to right click rename and then just change ISO IMG to ISO. What is an ISO file? An ISO file is a uh, file that uh, is basically a digital copy of a CD or a DVD. It's, um, it's a way of storing a CD or a DVD but not wasting a CD or DVD, not using one, just storing it on your local hard drive. Um, it's, a, it's a standard and uh, it's pretty common when you download Linux disks or various tools such as uh, Ultimate Boot CD it comes as an ISO file so the question is are you capable of burning an uh, ISO file let me go to start and then click on my computer again uh, as you see I have two drives here a DVD RW and a DVD drive uh, of course the R in DVD RW stands for recordable that means it is writable that means it is able to write to CDRs and DVDRs because it is a DVDR. You may happen to just have a CDR um, or a CDRW. RW, of course, stands for rewritable, and R just stands for recordable, although usually I call it writable because I'm Southern and we're not very good at spelling. Uh, so if you want to go to uh, right click and go to properties, and uh, you can generally find out if you've got a recordable. I think the program just finished. Uh, it's finalizing the disk. It just popped out, so let me close it. I'll pop it back in, in a second, but right-click on your drive and go to Properties, and generally you can find out a clue of whether or not you're capable of writing to disks, CDs, or DVDs by clicking on the Hardware tab. As you can see, I have a DVD plus minus RW. There's a little plus minus in the middle of that line. Um, much like Blu-ray and HD DVD, DVD plus R's and DVD minus R's were two competing technologies and it's not uncommon for you to have one or the other although nowadays people have both uh, but you should be aware of that in case you have to buy one or the other in case your computer doesn't use the other kind uh, but you can see in the list and you could probably also go to properties and see various informations and if it does burn DVDs it should burn CDs as well unless something's functionally wrong with the hardware so now that that's uh, finished the uh, the programs done so let me uh, go back to my computer and I'm gonna close the tray and it should show a uh, ultimate boot CD in the drive 
once uh, Microsoft registers it, uh, once Windows recognizes it as such, there it is. Uh, and it just popped up this other window right here, the autoplay window. Um, but it does. It recognizes the Ultimate Boot CD. So that's how you convert an ISO file into uh, a CD or a DVD. This is a new feature that was introduced with Windows 7. Um, it's not available at earlier systems. So I have another video, if you have an older operating system, of a free program that will convert ISOs into optical disks. So thank you for watching.